I've been doing a lot of uh, soldering lately and I've realized that uh, the fumes that the soldering iron releases are bad for you. So uh, normally I would be using a, a small uh, cooling fan to get rid of these uh, fumes and it works well at uh, getting away them but uh, it just pushes them in on the other side of the desk which is not ideal. Also the, the fumes are still there and they're not being like purified or cleaned in any way they're just in a different part of your desk and in particular in my case they get blown towards the back so towards where my computer is and uh, you could probably try attaching a tube to your uh, to your cooling fan but uh, likely the pressure that the cooling fan in produces is not very strong so it would not you would need a very short tube and then that defeats the purpose of trying to move these noxious fumes elsewhere so I've been thinking and uh, I wanted to basically build uh, something like a air purification system or a fume extracting system like the ones that like more professional people have however those are really expensive so I was trying to build a, a cheaper one and possibly one that I could 3d print and you see it here the the Apollo lunar landing module there is uh, is basically the uh, impeller system that uh, sucks air at, and can generate quite a bit of uh, depressure inside uh, the tube and, and hence suck air and the fumes from quite far. In addition, this, this kind of uh, mechanism that creates quite a good vacuum allows me to also uh, include a filter system. And initially I was just thinking about uh, this sort of um, vacuum cleaner type filter that uh, I actually put in there. Uh, so I also wanted to mount the uh, impeller vertically on one of my shelves so it would take up less space. Uh, however, I then thought that I could use on top of this filter, I could use some uh, filtration material uh, like a powder, for example, activated uh, charcoal to uh, also remove uh, some of the toxic substances. So this would, uh, would allow me to keep the pump inside uh, the, the room and still be able to get uh, somewhat cleaner air out of it. However, in this case, to simplify the design of the filter, I decided to mount it uh, like, like you see here, so horizontally or like with the axle of the impeller vertical so that just the gravity will keep this, this loose material on top of the filter and it will not uh, fall around. Uh, on top of this, yeah, the, the filter also catches any particles, any dust that, uh, that might be uh, caught by the vacuum and prevent it from uh, uh, making the impeller dirt very quickly. As you can see, the, uh, actually the fan I use, for example, it, it's gotten quite dirt just from these uh, uh, oils and uh, um, vapors that uh, that are in the fumes that come out of the soldering iron. So, yeah, I also wanted to have, of course, a way to adjust the position of the uh, of the suction cup because the fan is usually mounted uh, uh, is usually just in front of what I'm soldering. However, uh, I wanted now something that I could put on top of the soldering that I'm doing so that it can more effectively capture all the fumes and this is it so I, I used uh, an old uh, like small kind of lamp uh, for the structure and I just remove all of the uh, light related bits and I actually reused this cup as a as kind of a sort of a fume hood to uh, function as a funnel and basically the mechanism is exactly what I wanted because it can be orientated and moved and I can uh, move it around my desk very easily and then when I'm done I can put it away. So it was everything I needed and it was already made so I didn't need to 3D print a huge, uh, a huge mechanism. I just uh, 3D printed this adapter here and the rest came from the lamp. So I have uh, here something that I want to solder so then we can try how it works. Now I have no, um, I have put no charcoal in the filter so we'll do that later and see how it compares and also uh, yeah 
the final resting place of this uh, pump will not be of course on my desk it will be hidden so I use this uh, laboratory power supply for powering the motor it's just the most convenient solution for me so it needs 3 amps to start but then once once it's going we can lower it down yeah, you can definitely feel some air going. Then, yeah. Oops. So, yeah, let's put this on top here. And let's get going with some solder. Okay, maybe we should increase the power a bit and put it a little bit closer, I guess. Okay. Oh. Yeah, this is uh, far better. Okay, so I have crushed up some of these active uh, carbon for uh, fish tanks. I have it in here. Now I'm gonna see. So the mechanism is quite simple. You can just lift this part up, and then you have access to the to the filter. And you can see there are a bit of uh, 3D printed structures to keep it uh, nice and flat. And then I'm going to add the carbon. There are big pellets, but there's also a bit of a finer powder, hopefully. Okay. Uh, let's see. Okay, well, now we will see if we completely clogged the filter, if the powder comes out from the exos part, lots of uh, question marks here. Okay. So here we have a nice clear view of the exhaust part. I'm gonna power it up, let's see what happens. Okay, I can feel a good amount of air coming up. So, I'm gonna try soldering something. I'm in the stream of the exhaust, so I'll rotate it around so it doesn't bother. Okay. Now the exhaust is pointing away, so... Yeah. Nice. Yeah. 
So I placed the extractor in its final location, which is at the back of my desk. And now everything is ready for some quick soldering. useful for quickly soldering things together oh no I didn't turn it on as I was saying quick and easy extractor for soldering fumes. Oh no, I didn't solder it. 